Welcome back. This is the third video in our tutorial series and I want to introduce you to how to manage your media files effectively. Also introduce you to tags and what they do on the platform. They're very, very important um, and I'll give you some examples now. So as you can see, I've uploaded a bunch of music to my system. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tag this with a generic tag, which is called music. I'm then going to select certain tags and I might apply, say, for example, some might be rock tracks, some might be dance tracks. Um, ignore the actual files I've got here and ignore the sort of titles I'm picking. They can really be anything you want. But what I wanted to do is illustrate to you exactly what tags do and how they can be leveraged to create categories within your system. The one thing I'm going to do is upload a jingle. Uh, okay, so I've uploaded a jingle. The first thing I want to do is I want to differentiate that between everything else and I want to create a tag called jingle. So I first of all select the file that I'm interested in by clicking on the tick box um, and I'm actually just going to type right into this box here and click add. That will automatically create a tag called jingle and it will assign it to this file. Everything else on this page I'm going to create a tag called music. Okay, so everything has been tagged with music and I have one file which is called jingle. Now when I go build a playlist later, if I want it to play a song and then I want it to play a jingle but I don't have to manually playlist this, I can create a playlist with tags and I'll explain this in the playlisting video uh, with the music tag uh, followed by a jingle tag and that will format will repeat again and again. But like I can be more specific with this stuff. So for example, if I want these five tracks here, maybe I want these to be my A list, so I'll call it A and apply the A-list to those tracks. I might also want, say, three of these five to be tagged with, I don't know, say, for example, rock, or let's say top 40. Okay, this is just an example. So you can have multiple tags assigned to a single track. And as you can see here, uh, I have three tags assigned to this track. If I want to then remove a tag from the track, let's say I want to take it out of my A playlist because that's no longer a song that I want to be on frequent rotation. I just click the little X and that will actually take the tag away from that file. But it will still have, for example, the top 40 tag applied. So when I have the top 40 tag on a playlist, this song will still go out. But it will no longer go out when I have an A tag on a playlist. So this is a really good way of categorizing music and you can use this to build playlists so you can have say an a b and a c list which is a lot, what a lot of clients do or you might want to use it to categorize music based on genre so rock top 40 or you might want to have your jingles commercials adverts uh, sweepers idents whatever you want to call them categorized individually to control the format of what is being broadcast and i'll go into this in more detail uh, when we're actually talking about building playlists if I click on my tags section, this will actually allow me to view all of my tags. I can see how many tracks have been tagged with that specific tag. I can also edit each one individually. I can change the color because by default they're just assigned a random color. So let's say I want my music to be bright blue. I can specify that. You can choose whatever color you want. And it's a really good visual way of identifying music. Again, you do what you want to do. You categorize everything entirely. It's up to you. There's no set rules and that's the advantages and the beauty of tags versus using solid categories or folders which are a very rigid way of organizing things. Tags, you can have more than one tag applied to a song and you can really categorize and customize the system depending on your needs. And we're just here to give you the facility and give you the examples of exactly what you can do. You can also add new tags from within this section. So if I want to create a rock tag and maybe I want that color to be, I don't know, let's go with a sort of like a brownie color maybe. However you get to brown, there we go. Uh, that's kind of more purpley brown. Let's go with orangey brown, whatever, that'll do. I can then add that in and as you can see, it will appear down here. Likewise, if I want to delete a tag, uh, I just press the X and that will confirm that will get rid of that tag. All right, now let's head back on to our track section. I want to show you how you can quickly edit uh, information. If I click on these three dots here, which is the action menu, I can see that I've got edit, add to queue and track editor. Uh, I will talk through the track editor in another video. Add to queue. Uh, let me just quickly show you what that does. If I click on that and I go back on my dashboard, you can see here, uh, this is what's up next. And if I click on this red button, which says queue, you can see 
the track I've just said add to queue will now appear in my queue. It's a good way of just getting a song. If you just decide you want to hear something on your radio station, you want that song to come up next, you can add it to the queue. Uh, you can also take stuff out of the queue by clicking on this X here. All right, now let's go to edit and I want to talk you through this. So this is basically editing the metadata uh, on your files. So at the moment I've got a jingle uh, which as you can see artists and album are unknown and it's not really a very user-friendly title so I recommend with your jingles is you give them something your listeners can see and it will be kind of something that's nice to see so for example you might want to say you're listening to you know whatever it is uh, radio uh, you might want to give it an artist of uh, you know your radio station name and album uh, as that's not actually shown on the player you might want this in your uh, for your own reference it's because it's a jingle so you know what it is you might want to say you know um, main jingle or whatever you want to call this uh, that's what I tend to use this field for when we're speaking about jingles because they're not really belonging to an album as I say the album information is not shown to your listeners okay everything else as you can see it will automatically inherit the information which is pulled from the ID3 tag when you actually upload that file you can edit more than one track at once as well. If I select, say, two, and I click on the edit button up here, this will actually give me the option to upload artwork and apply it to both of those. And you can also choose artist and album for both of those tracks as well. Finally, to delete music, again, I can select more than one file if I wish, or I can select a single one, and I just choose the delete option. There's no recycle bin as such, so once your files are gone, they are gone. So only delete stuff when you really want to get rid of it and take it off your system. Okay, so now we've got an idea of how we can organize our media file. We can see how we can tag stuff. I want to talk about how to build different types of playlists. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how you create playlists and show you how you can build them using individual songs and also how you can build them with tags to create a clock-like structure for your playlist and your radio station.